You may think that you know the whole story behind Mr. Beast's sidekick, Chris, but the controversy goes much deeper than you thought. What exactly did Chris Tyson tweet out in 2017 that completely exposes him? What does his family think about all of this? And then there's this video of his son that will completely change the way you see him forever. How he went from this to this. This is a deep dive into the Chris Tyson situation and what type of backlash this will have for Mr. Beast. If you've been living under the rock, Chris has came out as a transformer. My personal opinion, I think it's weird. From what I understand, Chris, Chris Tyson, Chris from the Mr. Beast team. Mr. Beast has like this friend, Chris. It's Christina, you bigots. Mm. One of his boys transitioning, bro. So, Mr. Beast trying to get that Bud Light sponsor too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mr. B's sidekick, Chris Tyson, was born July 1st, 1996. Chris grew up in North Carolina, and he and Jimmy Donaldson, Mr. Beast, created the channel back in 2012. Jimmy and Chris went to a Christian school together. In early iterations of their channel, you could see mentions of their faith. Chris described himself as a country boy, growing up as a Boy Scout. In the survival challenges, he was constantly the one who did the most work and was the most skilled. Put your tent up, then I made the fire, then I boiled the water, then I made your food. While doing tons of research on this video, I stumbled across Chris's mom's Facebook. You can clearly see from her page that she is a woman of faith. This gives you a deep look into his upbringing. Like, take a look at this photo of Chris and his family. Look at the comments. Wow, Chris looks like his dad. Everyone still looks like themselves. Love this picture, Amy. You can see what his mother's beliefs were clearly in this post. I took my purse and my morals to the poll and voted for the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Not a person, but the person I believe most reverently supports them. My hope is not built on people. My hope is anchored in the word. If God so chooses to not favor this nation again, we deserve it. We have sat silently and watched. We have never torn monuments down or set to fire anything. We have been silent. Maybe we should have put feet on our prayers. My prayer for today is that the God of our fathers will show favor on this nation and save the Republic for all. But most of all, I pray that we learn to love each other again, despite our political or ideological differences, because we're all Americans. Now here's a picture from Chris's wedding, I assume. The comment reads, Amy, you are so beautiful. That hunk standing beside you is gorgeous too. Sneeko, who used to work on the Mr. Beast channel, had this to say about Chris. So when I met Chris, he had just gotten married. And the, the whole team, I, I didn't really know him, I didn't go to the, the wedding, but like the whole team went to his wedding, they were showing me all these pictures and stuff like that. Um, Mr. Beast went to the wedding and he had a kid, I remember it. And this guy, the Chris I know, was like a truck driving, AK-47 shooting, Call of Duty playing, dip chewing, yep. That was the Chris I knew. He didn't say that, he didn't say the, the part where it's gonna get you canceled, but that was the Chris I knew. Was woo? What's up with all these trucks? The Chris, he had a southern accent. He was driving monster trucks and he helped me shoot my first AK 47. And he was chewing dip and he was smoking Marlboro Reds. He had just bought a big truck with all the Mr. Beast money. That was Chris. Let's go to shooting range. Woo! Woo! What the fuck happened? What is this? Good on the people that are like the, the people that are encouraging this. They're not, they think that they're doing the right thing. They're all brainwashed. Even Mr. Beast thinks that he's doing the right thing by supporting his friend, Chris. Brainwashed. If you really cared, you would not encourage his delusion. Now you would look at the long term and see that this is something that he's doing because he is brainwashed by social media, because he's living in the West where this is pushed by a bunch of garbage. If you were really his friend right now, you would hear what I'm saying. Cause I'm, someone's going to clip this and send it to him. You would tell him you've made the wrong decision. You should not be taking hormones. This is not the solution to your depression. You are clouded by what you see online. You are clouded by the agenda of the West. Your son needs you in his life. Your son is going to grow up confused because you're dressed like this now. Your son is gonna grow up confused because 
now your wife is raising your son by yourself and daddy's a mommy. It makes it, 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 I'm sorry. I don't say that to be transphobic. I don't hate this person. I don't think that we should try to bring these people down. We need to tell them the truth. The culture that we live in today bombards us with whatever the states or corporate elites believe we should see. Propaganda is used to control the masses. The media is completely monopolized. A very select few run everything, and they've built in incentives to pull apart family and faith at the seams. Because when that happens, you can look to them as your leader and follow the cultural norms whenever they deem fit. Here's a tweet from a user named Evan that Chris responded to. There goes a father figure the kid won't ever be able to look up to. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. And weak men create hard times. Weak man times. If we go back to 2018, this is Chris. He married Katie. She's an Instagram influencer and a licensed physician. Everything seemed great. They were a happy couple. Here's a quote from Katie. All I can do is thank you for the life I never deserved. Then the couple welcomed their son, Tucker Stephen Tyson, into the family in June of 2020. <laughs> On the surface, they seemed to be a normal, loving family, but all of that was about to change. January of 2022, Chris would post his last photo of his family on his Instagram. He also was not seen with his wedding ring on. However, instead, he had painted nails. Then on March 28th of 2023, Chris posted this. For a little over a year, Katie and I have been separated. After that, you would begin to see Chris changing his appearance. He would start getting criticism from his fans and large content creators. Large commentary channels like Sunny V2 would make videos that were met with mixed reception. In 2022, fans began to notice that Chris Tyson was changing. In the early days, he represented the quintessential Southern gun and truck loving dude. Yet beginning in March 2022, Chris began to display increasingly feminine traits, making tweets such as, I finally got my nails done at a nail tech. Additionally, Chris would highlight that his facial appearance had changed significantly since the start of the pandemic, which accompanied another post reading, Okay, so in four different customs, I had to prove I was myself because I quote, look nothing like my passport pic, so much that I'm considering updating my passport. Do you see any resemblance? Prompting replies such as, you went from man to boy. Chris responded by stating, Nah, to be honest, I just really started taking my mental health seriously and eating better, yet his Twitter photos kept insinuating that Chris was becoming more feminine, with this same kind of look showing up in his Mr. Beast appearances. For example, on the 6th of January 2023, Beast Reacts uploaded a video titled I Strapped a GoPro to a Fish, in which Chris dressed in a way that prompted comments such as, Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. Okay, so some people just gonna ignore Chris's nails? Chris had to have lost a bet. The look is getting wild. The response to the video then prompted countless viral TikToks, such as this one with 700,000 likes, stating how did Chris go from this to this, while others even made the claim that Carl had turned him gay. Now, this Chris would go on to start HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy. He got a ton of backlash on the internet. Now the question is, what did his family think of all this? Well, here's a tweet where Chris says, also, I want to use my alt to let everybody know that I am bisexual. And when I told a few people I did when I was 16, I got a lot of negative backlash from friends and family. Just know that if the people around you don't love and support you, we always will. He followed up that tweet with this tweet. Someday I'd love to go into detail about more of this, but I'm still very private about it due to things that happen when I try coming out. I just don't want to be silent about it anymore. Mr. Beast fans in the internet had quite a response to all of this. Chris's old tweets and videos started to resurface and made him look like a hypocrite. Plauto made a great video that shows this. This is when the story takes a turn I didn't expect. The user states, Chris has sold his soul. This isn't him. He used to laugh at racism, mock transgenderism, and now the biggest YouTube channel in the world is sharing this anti-Christ. And this was followed by a reply. Have you seen his old tweets? So what are these old tweets? What are these old tweets that are such a big deal online? Let's take a look. Nothing gets my knob cranking like some Loli from 2016. If you don't know what Loli is, it's basically an anime girl who looks young and has a like body. This is a weird thing to say. 
let's move on. Between what's happened at the Ariana Grande concert and what's going on in the Philippines, why the f do we even take Islam serious? It's an old ass backwards religion that hates anything different and treats women like sh This is from 2017. He has also stated your granny in 2018. So the hypocrisy is real. Another tweet of his that people say highlights the hypocrisy of the Chris we see online now is, I let a lady go in front of me waiting for a drink machine and she got the last Mountain Dew. This is why feminism is shit. But it's not only tweets. This is not at all where Chris from only a few years ago drew the line. There is also videos exposing Chris's hypocrisy. In a video where Mr. Beast watches a YouTube video for 10 hours straight, Chris is heard calling the M word out, then trying to play it cool when he realizes Mr. Beast is live streaming. What? You do know I'm watching this for 10 hours straight on a live stream. I do. <laughs> yeah. No way. Yeah. Yeah, he said the N word. Well, you just said the N word. But I'm not relevant. Oh, yeah, that's true. I guess you can say the N word. But Chris isn't shy to being racist online, as there is another clip of him saying the N word. Okay, Google, spell I cup. I don't know the spell. I see you. Let's now look at the video that the comment I previously showed earlier stemmed from. An old skit video from Mr. Beast and Chris. If you don't know, Tucker is the name of Chris's child, who he had with his ex-wife. He has now been accused of abandoning Tucker for his fantasy. Chris's response to abandoning Tucker was to tweet out, I won't let people talk about how I abandoned my child. He is the only priority in my life. I have his love and support, and that is all I need. I'm doing this for him. If that confuses you, educate yourself. If that makes you mad, leave. Simple. This was followed up with a Snapchat post titled, Tucker chose to slay this morning, including a photograph of his son wearing heels. A man, the internet was not happy. Calling him a groomer, saying he shouldn't have kids, saying this is indoctrination, that Chris is only trans thanks to the internet. And if it wasn't for his online presence, him and his wife would still be together and he wouldn't have left his family. Then Chris tweeted this. I did also hate seeing the hate for me turn into just general transphobia. So I'm trying to make it known. Make fun of me all you want, but mess with the trans homies and well, gun emoji. Now this is obviously completely insensitive, especially following up what happened in Nashville. There was also a very interesting theory that I found from Tim. Why is Chris Tyson now trying to take hormones to change his appearance and identity? Elsa Gate. Okay, this is the algorithmic crisis, is how I describe it. Elsa Gate was a series of videos of escalating uh, psychosis that began with Rosen and children's lullabies. Elsa was very popular, so parents were playing Elsa videos for their kids. Eventually, people started making more Elsa videos to get clicks. It resulted in very strange videos where people would dress up like Elsa and be chased by the Joker and Spider-Man. Because these things would get promoted in the algorithm on YouTube, and then people would make tons of money doing it. Parents would put a tablet in front of their baby, press play on, say, Elsa singing, and then YouTube would algorithmically feed Elsa-related videos. It resulted in very strange computer-generated cartoons of Elsa eating out of the toilet. I am not exaggerating, quite literally. Another strange videos of, say, the Incredible Hulk doing Tai Chi with Adolf as, uh, it, actually, I'm sorry, it was Hitler's head on a female body with large wearing a bikini. And any adult who watches that says, this is psychotic. So why is it that we're here now with Chris Tyson? Well, look at his previous tweets. Back in the day, he was reposting memes, things that were popular. And meme magic got elected. You see, what was happening was there was uncontrolled algorithms. The algorithms were, were, were promoting whatever it is people liked. And because people liked these memes and they were popular, people like Chris Tyson just regurgitated them because yeah, he wanted attention. He wanted to be popular. He wanted to fit in. There are many people who just do things because other people do them. And I believe Chris Tyson is exactly that. When the powers of the left realized what was going on with meme technology, they then quickly crushed things. Around 2016 is when we saw the rise of censorship of certain ideas, and this pissed a lot of people off. We started to see this earlier, but it got really bad once got elected. The Democrats realized exactly what had happened with 
election and we saw the viral video of Google employees crying saying we will never let this happen again. It's our fault. Elsa Gate has never stopped. The algorithm feeding people insane ideas, messing with their brains, persists to this day. So I give you Chris Tyson. How it is that a supporting right winger, not necessarily a right winger, but at least online, became a leftist individual. Because this person, in my opinion, and I mean this not to, as, as, to be disrespectful, but I believe this person, there's a reason why he is not Mr. Beast himself, and he is just an ancillary character in the Mr. Beast show. He is weak-willed. He's a beta male. He's a follower. Is this just a symptom of our culture in decline? What is all of this going to look like in 30 years? What kind of world will we be leaving for our children? What plans do you have in place? Joe Rogan said it like this. It seems like every civilization, when they're at the brink of collapse, becomes obsessed with gender. And you're talking about ancient Greece and ancient Rome, and it just seems like a thing that people do when there's no real, like, like physical conflict. Right. So people look for conflict that doesn't exist, and they find conflict in standard norms. They find conflict in societal norms.